Hey, look. I par with the best. You don't par with the best. I came to the dance with the vets. You're too busy at the bar with the skets. I par with the best. Yo, you don't par with the best. I came to the dance with the vets. You're too busy at the bar with the skets. I par with the par with the best. Come to the beat for all with the set. You might see me with coats or caps. This thing is a rap, tell them man there Don't chat too fast like uppercut jab Your man can get black Hey part with the best what you know about that Wait, you don't even know about that Me, I'm in my zone like that With bars and flows that I cold like caps No lies, no gas, I was grown like that Yeah, you don't know about that Negative folks, I don't know about that Tintin, I don't condone in that My life God is controlling that Real recognize, real get to know about that I part with the best You don't part with the best I came to the dance with the vets You're too busy at the bar with the skets I ain't par with the best You don't par with the best Lies. Don't act like a boss on the net Might know that you ain't part in the flesh I ain't par with the best You don't par with the best I came to the dance with the vets You're too busy at the bar with the skets I ain't par with the best You don't par with the best Don't act like a boss on the net Might know that you ain't Lies. Man I really know who I par with oh. Tell a man you don't wanna start it Lies. This is a po that you're alarming yes. Then it's gun shops if you're in farming yeah. I'm one you don't wanna war with yeah. Better run home to your darling yeah. I'm not one you can get smart with no. You look who he that man I'm on a Darwin yeah. You look who he that man I'm on a Einstein You look who he that man I'm on a Lardin Man I'm a blow up your yard and garden no. This is a lyrical war you don't want it no. This is a lyrical war then I'll start it yeah. How about anybody in a lyrical war that's half hearted Man don't want it yeah. Career and name get tarnished I part with the best the You don't part with the best I came to the dance with the vets You're too busy at the bar with the skets no. yeah. I part with the best you don't par with the best Lies. Don't act like a boss on the net Might know that you ain't part of the flesh I par with the best You don't par with the best I came to the dance with the vets You're too busy at the bar with the skets I par with the best You don't par with the best Don't act like a boss on the net Might know that you ain't Lies. Man come true in black talk car When man see man everybody start Ain't no EP when I said wah Cut this type of water make great man part Make sure fly like Peter and Paul Only get kept like Keeper and Paul when that rise up, everything fall Stand tall and you get bun like drawn Why them no one no feds in my car? Talk them a talk, no break them a talk <laughs> Them type of bar make mash pit start Them type of gun make bad man fart <laughs> Them type of bridging man don't want And them type of heat that man get caught You know I chest left open <laughs> like bar You don't know with the best man part. I part with the best, part with the you don't part with the best I came to the dance with the vets You're too busy at the bar with the skets I part with the best you don't par with the best Lies. Don't act like a boss on the net Might know that you ain't part of the flesh I ain't par with the best You don't par with the best I came to the dance with the vets You're too busy at the bar with the skets I ain't par with the best You don't par with the best Don't act like a boss on the net Might know that you ain't Lies. SX Vets and uh, we're getting ready to uh, go talk to him right now so follow me welcome to SX Vets the Bulls clinic yes How are you doing today, my oh my god busy 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 we have in the morning a lot of operations and yes and just and we have a little appointments um, yeah, we're doing well. And here is Archie, the main man, the sign nice of pets. You, nice to meet you, my friend. How are you doing today? I'm good. Busy day today. As usual. As usual. As usual. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to show you here that the reception. Janice is the, our, our main nurse. Hello, Janice. Hey, How are you doing? So, quickly, I'm going to show you as well. This one is the, you know, quickly, the, and here is the, the lab. Many, many, you, you, you must see this lab. And video, so that is where we're doing the progesterone test. That is uh, doing all the things you know. For before you do operation, you need to check 
before doing operations, you know. And from here, as you can just watch what's going on in in the whole in the whole clinic. So when the reception there come and check where, where is where is Archie or where is the the, the, the nurse is here, you know. Mm -hmm. And the office is, is upstairs. So then we can watch from here. And again we, we can go from here this way with all, all the medications. All the medications, everything are kept it. Yeah. Look guys, look all this medication. Look. Vaccinations. We finish like phew, maybe 500 a week because so many we do a lot of puppy vaccinations. Let me ask you, uh, what services do you guys offer here in the in the clinic? Everything. We do every operation, puppy vaccination, C-sections, everything. Boas, every single operation. Because what we have, we have the, the as you see my lab. We have everything. Some we have X-ray machine. I will take you to the theater. We have everything here to do any operation. That's a good thing. Um, yeah, and um, that's why we're busy because we not only just concentrate in normal operations or C-sections or puppy vaccines. We are doing the in the we're working with insurance companies who bring dogs where they have problems with the legs and with the boas and all of these different problems. You know. So you cover all the different the areas. Whole thing, the whole thing we have here are three beds. Um, um, working so yes we working every seven days a week what do you think would be like the the latest technology or service that that you have uh, implemented in your I think what, your, we, uh, what we have here is, is the best is um, half in your own practice a lab is the best thing you know because you need to understand many clinics is, is they don't have um, a lab so what are doing when you do the operation, you take the blood and sometimes you need to send this to another lab waiting for the result next day to make an operation. Sure. Here is, okay, the dog come, boom, blood, or x-ray. Some clinics don't have x-rays, we have the x-ray. We make x-ray and we make the decision. We have a scanner, proper scanner as well, what the scanner who can scan every single thing. It is cost us around 12,000 pounds. You know, again, many clinics don't have them money to buy the high-tech equipment but what I notice in this business if you have everything you know all the high-tech they will help and they can do it quickly you can just do operations um, and recognize any problem in seconds you know um, but again we have everything um, everything lab scanners x-ray and the most important we have the best team that's the most important doesn't matter if you have the best machines without the team it's not going to work. Definitely, so yeah, yeah. all things as I say to you, I have one thing as I tell it to my team. I say, listen, um, whatever they want, I supply them. Everything. I say, listen, what you need? So I want this. Okay, buy it. So it's no, it's not like uh, you know. That's the good thing. Working with them, I'm afraid of them. If you need it, get it. And that's when the, some operations come. They can do it because they cannot put excuse. Oh, oh, I need this. But, you know, I'm here, I told you to just get it. So everybody knows that once they walk through the door and come into Essex Vets, we have everything that they need here. Yeah, exactly. In, everything. in the premises. No need to wait, no need to go to another place, no. wait for results, everything, everything right here, ready to no, go. No, straight away. We do it. Great. Again, we know, now, we working with two people, we need to understand, we go with breeders and we work with the normal public, it's two things. Now, some vets, they don't like to work with breeders. Here is breeder friendly. That's why I decided to open my clinic. Because I have, um, you know, every time when you go to a vet clinic, or people, or, or they don't like breeders, you know? But this one is for both. So I doing the breeders and the public, and they're working quite good. And my vets are agree with that. And it's well in here, it is the most important, it is a part of being a vet clinic, we can make any operation. We doing we are um, we doing um, uh, fertility. We do freezing sperm. Um, we, we do all the things. We do TCI transitional insemination. So all in one place, you know. As I say to people, you know, to say the, the clients when they come, I say, if I cannot make you get pregnant, no one will, you know. And um, we will go there to the other one to show you about them. Then let's check it out. The fertility. Okay, so. 
They want to see Archie. Let's, let's see what's happening with Archie. Let's come. Where's Archie? I see him over here. Ah. Archie, how you doing, my friend? What's up, bro? Good to see you. And you, bro. I just come in here to visit my friend Archie. Essex Pets, uh, doing a surprise visit, see what he's up to here in the clinic today. Yeah. How's it going? Where are you up to? Uh, what do you got going on? Just cleaning some kennels. We had a cat in here who was really, really matted and now just cleaned it up. Cleaned everything up, all the surfaces and yeah. Great. How's the day going so far? Uh, it's not so busy but it's always good to have a day of just cleaning everything. I normally package the kits here and we do everything here from puppies coming here and into the theatre and yeah. So you have here, so you can see here. Where's the theatre? The center pits? Theatre is through here. Theatre. Yeah, that's the okay, you want to ask any questions to the center pits? Um, um, this is where the magic what's, happens. What's, what type of magic do, do we um, see here on a daily basis? What kind of um, what kind of surgeries? What kind of? We see we have X-rays in here. We have C-sections here. We have castrations in here. We have many surgeries we do in here, and all done by the best vets here. And yeah. And you take part of everything that happens here. I, I'm always assisting with surgeries. I'm always here, either helping the nurses bring in puppies or helping them bring tools to them or anything. That's great to know, my friend. Well, uh, I'm going to let you get back to work. I know that you're busy right now. Thank you very much for your time. And I'll be seeing you later today to uh, finish on the interview. See you soon. Have a good one, my friend. Remember. Signing out, Legit Breeders. That is our farm, the Sinabul's farm, the whole thing. If you can Even see, Archie. that is the whole thing that's the farm is well, it's belong to us. They have, that is the house. They have the whole thing until here. The, oh, he's jumping on top. The grass, the grass is a bit big. Look at the sign up, how crazy he is, this guy. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah, guys, that's all. Cheers. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, this third episode of Legit Breeders um, here in the United Kingdom uh, in Essex uh, with a very special guest, uh, Diego Sanchez from Designer Bulls. Uh, and we also have Archie from Designer Pets. Uh, we're going to be talking about a, a lot of interesting things today. Um, so let's get right to it. Um, Diego, where are you from originally? I'm from um, Ecuador, South America. Some people sometimes say, where is Ecuador? Between Colombia and Peru, I am in the middle between the two countries. That's important so people know exactly where yeah. it's at. Um, how do you end up all the way from there to here in England? Gosh, yeah, we're talking about 23 years ago. Just, you know, like everyone, we try to choose, um, just a look for um, better opportunities and 23 years ago I decided just you know I just love to just go to England and then I get, I get here. It was probably the best decision you made in I your life, I think so. Right? That's the info in that time you know you're young you want to go to Europe uh, what country you go so you decide yes let's go to to UK you know it's the best country so yeah. Um, at what age did you start with that uh, the dog business? Well, she's, uh, I start something. She's, I'm new to this breeding. If you say, you know, some people work their whole life to become a breeder, you know. But I can say, I start 12 years ago. 12 years ago. Uh, and now I can say one thing, you know. Um, me is a new breeder because only two years, and he be, he will be the same as he will be one of the because he start young and he will come breeder. And like he get old, you know. That's what I think. So you think uh, he has the potential to to overcome what you have achieved in the dog? Million game? percent. Because the good thing about this is I never ask him or say, "Look, you need to do my work." He come or he's on. I say that I'm ready. Now I want to do it. Did anybody inspire you to do what you're doing? <sighs> and I was saying this inspire me. No one. 
Um, I am self educate um, and I done everything by my own, learn everything by my own. You know, if I want just to say, if you, when you ask me the question again, someone inspire me, I inspire myself. That's all I can say. So you, you uh, create from within and not really looking at I create, somebody else's I create, work. in my head was a dream, you know. When I start that, that business, no one want to teach you, no one want to show what colors, no one want to tell you nothing. They're all breeders, you know. The breeders who've been, as I said to you, they're all school for a long time ago. They don't want to show nothing, nothing, how to do this and that. And then in your head, you put it and say, one day, you know, that you understand this is, I am the new generation of breeders, new generation, and actually the next, next generation of breeders. So when I put it in my, in my head, I say, I want to just have, be able to just do, do, do different things, with colors, um, do completely different, but what I say, I focus myself into myself to become what I am. So when you ask me that question, I dream and I educate myself. To be able to conquer what your, mm -hmm. your thoughts mm -hmm. were giving you. Uh, so uh, one of the, the most uh, popular um, variations of color of, of the Frenchie at the moment, or uh, what people are trending and talking about is the Isabella. Um, who created the first Isabella dog and where did the gene come from? Someone already maybe mixed into the line. I don't know. Just only what can say to him is um, the Isabella I bought already, the colors, but the color was not perfect. The, as you can see, the Isabella was a bit not the best. Where where did you get it? What country? From, from uh, the, the original from Russia and Germany. Okay. So that's the two countries what I, I get Isabellas, but it was um, no perfect French way you would say it, you know? Um, yeah. So we don't know if, if it came from another breed or if it was from the same breed. I can say you it was idea. bred. Of course, they was introduced some another breed. But we don't know which one. But exactly. I, if I look at dog, I would say to to the dog look like I'm they've been introducing um, um, possible exotic bully or bully there, because if you see when they when they produce the puppies when they're producing when they sometimes if you if you produce if you put one you know the old Isabella with the new Isabella. Or oh, the old Isabella with the old Isabella is still have sometimes carry with a, a bit long nose with pointy ears. So sometimes I'm thinking, yeah, it's, it's a bully inside there, you know. Okay. Many breeders that don't want to say that, but it's true. That's why people sometimes say, oh, this long, lo, lo, long legs, long nose, you know, the ears are not perfect. But yeah, you know. But as as a breeders, you know, we need to just um, remember one thing. As I say to you, you know, if you you into you going to a breed a dog and you're going to put ugly to ugly equals puppies ugly. It's a normal basic thing. If you're going to put, you know, perfect to perfect, yes, perfect. But you know, you have this. Now, if you have um, a not perfect dog, we know we will not use it to as ugly because it's, it is our dogs, our pets, and you you know that's only use that word to understand this. But if you have a dog who is not look the best. Less using another dog who is good, who can uh, um, um, make better, you know. We need to improve the lines, not go back, you know. So that's what I say all the time it is, as you can see now, what I, I, I produce in the most of the best dogs. But people going only for the money. So, okay, I want the colors. I want with that dog, with that dog, boom, colors and that do it wrong. That's why the people say, oh my God, this dog, what is going on with this dog? You need to say this game is just to just calm down, relax. Just, you will produce, it. even my own son, I tell him, you know, just, just going to, we're going for quality, you know? And sometimes, so if the dog, it is um, uh, no good looking, we need to just put a carrier, not the same colors, can be a carrier, a perfect to put it. But you need to understand there will not be the color yet there, 
but now these puppies will car they are carriers, but they will produce in another generation better. Right. So we need to take easy. Just we no rush. This is just is again just to improve the lines. We need to improve it, and only with breeders. And I try to teach uh, the designer pets, my son Archie. Just we need to take our time. Yeah. Great. Uh, so talking about colors, uh, can you give me a brief history of how all these colors were introduced into the game? Gosh. Going back to the starting <laughs> with the blue. Um, yeah. it, it, listen, as I say to you, this is going to be. Oof, I think we need to have another meeting, maybe for another. But I want to say this so quickly, but I will go in details and maybe another opportunity okay. where we have it. Okay. All I can say to you, um, as some people don't want to talk. Who is the sign -ups? Who is he? Um, the sign -ups is the, the guy, you know, who been traveling most than any breeder in the world. Most. And if any breeder watching me and look at me and I say to him, tell me, if, you, if you've been traveling and you visit more breeders, thank you. Yes, I will respect you and will take my hat. But there's not many breeders who will traveling. Breeders are who will stay at home. Breeders who don't want to spend money. Breeders don't want to go out of the box. Stay there. I am, that's why you say, remember the first question you ask, ask me, who inspired me? I inspire myself. So so all these colors, um, you have definitely played a part into a bringing them A million percent. And as I said to you, when I said to you, I am in this, um, in this um, game, in the color game, French game, for a long time. And if you been in that time, so so the, you know, so we say the from that time where we started, because all the colors started the same. We talking about between eight to twelve years old, or twelve, we started. You will, I know who was in that time, you know, and you know if you was in that time or you know the background the history you will understand and you will have respect for few older breeders but only i can say to you guys and maybe you watching me there and breeders be watching all breeders say you know i respect many of you guys but who help introduce the colors who help to improve the colors who help bring the colors who help the network of breeders to another breeders and make this i can say was me if someone say no it's me it is okay i respect you show me why you done tell me why you done look what we achieve and as i said to you in the beginning you know you know in the in the color game you know I was traveling to different countries bring it you know bringing blue and tan from Russia example I tell you when you say what the original colors where they come from people knows blue ones in the blue moon you know shrinkables ones in the boom blue moon he she never bred a dog she bought a dog the original the dog once in the blue moon is from Russia from Valeria Kudinova she is the breeder and funny enough when you say this is who you know people buying and delivering who was the, the the only breeder who traveled and, and met her me who was the breeder who was sleeping in the house me who was the breeder who knows the parents of that dogs was everyone called once in the blue moon in that time me so you see how if you think how i've been traveling you know i'm busy all these breeders and then we go to hungary to re meet another breeders to just bring the colors without this network the no big colors they will take no the be of course you know the big colors but they will take more time okay um again you know as i say i contribute a lot and another breeders contribute a lot too a lot you know but is there anybody that you can mention that also contributed like, uh, like in the level that you have contribute i will say to you uh, we're talking about in different business in other countries i will say to you 
in, in Hungary, whose country we love for the ring is Anita Islay in Hungary. A lot. Um, and I will say it because you cannot deny it. Sometimes people want no one to talk the names because it's up to them, it's politics. But you need to take your hat. When people be there, you just need to say it. Not because this guy, I don't like this guy, because no, just do it. What is the problem? So I will say Anita Sly, one who is contribute big time to this game. Another con contribute to this game, I will say to you, it is um, um, Dora from Hungary, La Morena Kennels. And that is in the blue, only just the blue colors hood is, I will say they are only breeders that didn't try to move the color example, Saleti kennels, shark kennels, but this is, this only just producing, don't look in the next what's happening. But I will not say, and I will not give in, um, say, you not contribute, the contribution was, the was is, you know, Anita Sly, La, um, um, Dora, La Morena Kenos, even I say, even is a guy who call it is um, Tobias in in Lithuania. You know, maybe we have a bit up and downs, and we we have you know our our um, dislikes, mm -hmm. but we need to, sometimes we need to just accept it. And I say when you ask me that question, no, because I don't like that guy or I don't like that girl or I don't like that breeder. We need to just just close right but i want to say this is these the people in my eyes again i will put in the list anita is like hungary la morena kennels uh, dora um tobias helgan lutheria this is what i thinking contribute a lot for the we game we're talking about the 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 people that change the the, the way uh frenchies look in general mm -hmm. the way the people that brought uh, new colors into the game like yourself and and them um, Now about the Merle gene. Where did that one come from? The Merle gene is uh, the people don't like to talk about this or people want this is Merle gene being introduced Being introduced example the, the Merle gene came the Merle the most that I will say to you of course It's different countries producing and the mixing and but I can say the Merle gene was 90% came from Germany Okay that's because I was one of them who, in that time, was you know introduced. When you see a male in that time, it was people were saying, "I don't like males because of course you don't like males because there was no perfect. There was long nose, long long legs, you know, skinny. We I call him athletic look. You know, sometimes when I put a comment, I don't want to say, "Look, what's going on? This look like a camel." So for me, I don't want to say it because it's insult. But I change as. A athletic look. What's the athletic look? The athletic look is, of course, it's, you know, thin, long legs, athletic, without insulting or to take it wrong, because it's true. It's, uh, you know, you need to understand every 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 owner will love the the pet and will defend it. So you know, sometimes, say so you, you don't look ugly or the dog look like a camel, you can't do it. Only can say it's athletic look for for respect. But where did the is there a breed that introduced okay. that? When you say to me, well, yeah, when you say, I can say to you, some people was doing bread, example, Chihuahua to a French, you them keep the puppy still don't look, they keep another one, another generation, you know, with blue and they come the, 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 the for sure they was introduced by the Chihuahua, yeah? okay. put a French, it would not, you know, five generations. In that time was no perfect. Okay. Put a Chihuahua to a pack, pack to a Frenchie. The, the male come from this, you know? Pack, Frenchie, Chihuahua, and, but now it's perfect because now all the gene of the mix are uh, um, uh, out. And now you can see now, you know, it is true when, when you see a male before, you say three years or four years ago, say, oh, I don't like it. It's true, I didn't like it either. But uh, in, as an every, in everything, it's time. Right. As improvement, if you're going to put that dog with that dog, you're going to make rubbish. But now look, we're in the position, and I believe, and I, I'll tell you, and I know males is going, males is, the market is more than the normal colors, most of anything. And people need to understand too, this is my point of view, you know, like some people talk about these colors are not standard, standard, standard. Well, the way that I see it, you know, all what these dogs, the 
all these dogs came from a mix of different breeds. If you go to the history, that is that is so, there's a mix anyway. So right. But what about now? As I said to you, that is another thing what we need to talk. Look what's happened with this. With the, the, the say the champion lines, the standard lines mm -hmm. have more more problems than the normal colors because they're working with one line. Okay, as I said to you, breeders they're all school. They don't want to go out. Outside they want the just stay there. So they bred it. They inbreeding. You know, they dot that to the, the this and that and just keeping only one line close. Of course, when you do this, you will have more problems. But you know. And these people were so hard to do that, and in saying the colors because we, we we print this and that is more healthy, more healthy. But again, I think um, we are talking about the merging is introduced, you know. But now it's perfect, and we got to talk about one of the main players in the Merle uh, that introduced a lot of the lines that are out there right now, Mr. Miyagi. Um, so talk, talk to me about Mr. Miyagi. I will tell you, Mr. Miyagi. Guys, you know, and I say to you, maybe, maybe you do know this, you know, but Miyagi, you know, Miyagi who I own Miyagi, and Miyagi went to Toba Land Frenchies. I think we need to have so much respect for Miyagi. You know, maybe most of the new users are supposed Miyagi. You know, we will put a picture you understand. Miyagi contributed to most of the of the colors. I will say sixty percent. Of the colors in Isabella's Miyagi, you know, and this is the key for every reader. Like you know, <laughs> Miyagi is is you know it, it is the signable Miyagi, but most of the sixty percent we talk about the sixty percent in the colors half Miyagi there. We're gonna do a, a dynamic now. I have a list here of some of the best dogs, mm -hmm. uh, um, stud dogs out there. I want to know if you're involved in any way with, with, with these. I'm just going to mention their name and you tell me uh, <laughs> where do you fit in okay, there. Okay, let's, let's play the game. Henry the Eighth. Henry the Eighth. All I can say to you, everyone knows, if you are, as I say, been in, in the long, uh, uh, in the breeding, in the, uh, in the exotic colors, you will understand who is Henry VIII. We talk about he's a legend. He's a legend. This is and who owned by the sign was and most of the lines it is half Henry VIII Mohican 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 is um, black and tan one of the the first ones black and tans you know from Lithuania the first one that is the base the, of the color this is the the one who who bring the the tan to the breeding and yeah my dog too. Okay. Don Chuck. <laughs> oh God. Who do you don't have Don Chuck? You don't know. If you don't know who is Don Chuck, okay, I can say my dog. Miyagi. <laughs> we already talked about Miyagi. Miyagi, the key of the key, the king of the kings, and yeah. Karate Kid. Karate Kid, my. California Dream. My one. Golden Balls. Mm, produced by me. My one. Attitude. Mr. Attitude. Produced by me. My one. Patty Power. Produced by me. Hustler. Yes. Produced by me. Hurricane. Produced by me. Buddha. This was the key in Lilacs and one of my dogs. Don Blue. <laughs> my dog. Showtime. Showtime. It is Miyagi. Is that? Yeah, my lines. Not produced by me, though. Okay. Panchito. Panchito. My lines. Produced by me. Was what line Miyagi also? That is a. Uh, he is Panchito. Is Kels. Kels. Uh, Flash Harry. Flash Harry. Not produced by me, but he is Kels. Mister Magic. Mister Magic. My lines, but I didn't produce. But the the Harry my lines is Miyagi is that, is my lines. El Nino. It is um, my lines. Mama that produced by me. Sancho. Sancho, my lines, not produced by me, but my lines 
that is, you see, this is a controversy thing again, you know. This is my lines, but not produced by me. If you see way back, my lines again. From what dog? It is Miyagi and Douglas lines. It's Isaac. Isaac, Miyagi lines. Trader. By me. Trader. My lines, produced by me. Big bucks. <laughs> my lines, produced by me. And uh, last, Lord Sugar. That is, I, this no Lone Sugar is not produced by me, but the granddads are from me. The guy who ha owned Lone Sugar, he bought the dogs from me. I remember the day he came and the stories. If I, if I walk with that stories, oh my God, we know it. But only can say, look, you give me the whole list now, the whole long list, and it's more. It has nothing. It's more, more to come. We'll, we'll, we'll continue with, with another list in the next interview. But uh, it's incredible to know how many dogs you've been a part of. And, I, and the dogs who are famous, the dogs who are producing, the dogs who many breeders or top breeders have it, are or either my lines or produced by me. How much did you sell your first dog for and which dog was it? We're talking about we're going to go back to eight years ago when the blues just started. Um, and we're talking about four thousand pounds. If you put transfer the four thousand pounds in in our date money, we say it was equally around seven to eight thousand pounds. Say eight thousand pounds in our money now change the time, you know. So four thousand was good. Say that for eight thousand was really good. That's why you think in that city that that's good. can you achieve? It was a crazy money, crazy money. If you breed a dog and you ate, I think, gosh, that's a lot, you know, yeah. And then uh, fast forward from there to now, um, we're going to talk about something transcending, uh, I believe it's a world record for uh, the highest uh, sold dog to date. But uh, which one? Because I've I done it all of the highs. Prices of PayPal <laughs> boy. Oh, that we talk about the PayPal. Yes. My understanding is that this dog was sold for a figure close to half a million dollars. Uh, I would. Uh, it is only comment. I don't want to say that. And it is just keep it as it is. You know, it is the records. If breeders know this video and see watching this, they know. Yeah, it was the records. So. um it, let's introduce PayPal to everybody so that they can see him and we can talk about what he carries. Yeah, okay. I want to introduce PayPal, the famous PayPal. Okay, I want to just bring PayPal. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Need this. Okay, okay. Okay. So guys, you're looking at uh, a new legend here, PayPal. Uh, like I said, uh, broke a world record for the most expensive dog ever sold. Uh, Diego, talk to us about what's so special about this boy. What does he carry? Oh gosh, when you say to me, what is he carry? I can only can say as a breeder, I say he carry all. If you are a breeder, he carry all, everything, everything while you, <laughs> God. I, sometimes you, when, you, when I laugh this, is because I'm, sometimes I'm tired to talk about this, you know? Okay, so thank you very much for dying to the video, but uh, he carry two copies of Isabella, his Isabella. So it's two copies, because you can see, it's Isabella, look. Now, apart from his Isabella, he carry two copies, yeah? He carry two copies of Cocoa. That mean the, what people say, the no testable gene. So two copies of Testo, two cup of, oh, used to be non-testable, non -testable, now, now we say cocoa, cocoa. So. and two copies of testable chocolate. Yes, so I mean he carried two copies of cocoa, two copies of Isabella, um, two copies of blue, <laughs> two copies of intensity, one copy of, of, of sorry, of um, cream, no pie, no brain, but it's okay. This is sometimes we need to say this because you're asking me what did he carry. So I tell you, so he carried every single and male, and he he have everything, everything there. You know, the whole thing what everyone will wish to have. So this going, this going, when you see this boy, this is going to be a legend. This is going to I, I can see 
you know, as what what was you mentioned mentioned the um, the dogs, you know Miyagi when I you know, I can see, legend dogs going to be. Paddy Power, Hasela, Tom Blue, um, him. It's going to it's going to be like a in every pedigree and he's the going this dog's going to contribute for the colors and like i can say it's a handful of dogs who you can say this you know you know and this uh, is the latest one that's is that's the latest one so i think example if you say who is now the most famous dog in the world at the moment the most famous dog i can only can say but not because it's my dog not because it's you know <laughs> We need to say what it is, you know. As I said to you in the interview, or when I was, just, you know, who you respect, the breed that you respect, without you like or dislike, you need to say it, you know. And who will be the most dog? Who will be the most famous dog? Remember, produce the best puppies, not just because some dogs can produce no good quality. So we need to understand this: who produce the best puppies at the moment with the best color a structure? Paddy Power. It's no competition. Then we can say who is the best colors while we have it at the moment, you know? Um, and DNA, who was the who is the best in the color in the game? Hasela. And El Nino. And and you know, a structure was in the blues, don't blue, so he's going to take over. But the brand is well, you know, we go through the brother. The, he's you know, you need to understand male, you cannot put a male. So he needs to go to a normal colors, you know, to, 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 normal, to normal colors. Not to bring, no, you cannot put male to male. So him, he will go to all these normal colors to produce the best, to produce him. And then, then the males, you know, Patty Pawa, Hasela, El Nino, and what's the name of the dog you were saying? Me, me, me. Uh, Showtime, uh -huh. that the one was saying, that the male, what you... Uh, hurricane, Showtime. Hurricane. So, males need to have another, that the brother need to go to, the brother, he need to go, to create them. Because you need to, to make him, you need to have, he carry to copy intensity, to have everything. So it's normal, the brother is the same DNA like him, but no male. So, not because I try to say, less less use the brother, no, the, the, you know. It's normal, you know. You need to match every every dog, you know, and to create something what they want, something like him. It's so at the at the end of the video, we're gonna we're gonna introduce uh, Piggy Bank and his brothers as well. Um, question: uh, Who bought uh, PayPal and where is he going to? Uh, I PayPal was bought by. Um, um, it's California to Frenchy, French for Frenchies, French for Frenchies, and and another um, guy in Miami. Who is his name? He is. Um, he owns Chris Rush. He owns so it's what boy. So he will spend his life, how beautiful life, man. He will live his life in Miami, uh, sun, piña coladas, and everything, and he will spend life as well in California. Wow. How, how beautiful he he have a beautiful he will have a beautiful career and, 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 and breeders who will also have the opportunity to use him as Imagine a stud that. service in both Imagine. sides of the country so yeah. that would be great um imagine this this is a, something something <laughs> I, want, I want to be like him. imagine just to just to boom and you knew you your job would be going to be a stud boy and everyone will looking I want to be his. I want to he's, just. <laughs> he's gonna break a lot of necks for sure. <laughs> yeah, but I want to be his. I want to become his life. You know. Um, how do you explain a half a million dollar dogs to somebody that's gonna buy it from you to convince him to to buy it from you? I don't need to convince them. They need to convince me. <laughs> so, real, listen. I'm not here to sell you. You are here to buy it. You need to buy it. So that means you need to convince him to buy it. Because when you waste my time, I block you. So again, every reader in the game, yeah, 
He's a bit hot. I want to just let me get up right. I want to put him there. My Baba is is a bit hot. Sorry. So and uh do um you. some people some people find it crazy to spend that much money on a dog. Can you break it down, do the math for me of how do you uh get a return of an investment that, that big? The, is, you know, what I can say to you, this thing is you, you know, if you're doing good, you will have your return, depend what you do. You know, sometimes you expect, mm, you know, sometimes people bring the money and just, just bring a lot of money and think, okay, you know, I invest this. But if you don't work, if you don't do nothing, you think the money will come back? No, you need to just, you know, to make it happen, you know? You know, example, when you see example of PayPal, you know, how? <laughs> PayPal will not even asking. PayPal will be, he already before we, he started his career as a start service. He already pay, he's already pay. So we'll break, break down the math okay. for me. We, like we how, do, about, how do you okay, make the pay, money back? PayPal, it is, um, his start service is going to be, mm, to say, to say, I'll oh, just put a figure, I don't know, just say seven, eight, or six, I don't know, just put a figure to seven, yeah? Uh -huh. I don't know. Yeah, just, just as just an example. Just seven, uh -huh. seven, seven. By now, he will have, in his lifetime, we need to have his lifetime, not just now, in his lifetime, say, we'll have 200 um, liters, 200 start service, meaning is, that's normal for a star boy when you understand he is a star boy so two so 200 uh liters uh is 1.400 million uh right um you guys do the math uh add the the stud fees plus the puppies that they produce and they sell but you need to understand this, this, this but if you're sample let's say uh, say i didn't create paper yeah say uh, i didn't i didn't have paper say only just about for my programs for my girls I will have this money in just in my five girls, five girls, because he will create the same things. So it depends how you see, but you know, what is this, the, you know, you, he, the, the people who are, they are breeders. So I mean, they use him for the program from them. So actually what they're doing, the start service is only a bonus. What about the puppy, what they have? Because you right. can start a breed, they have 10, 20 girls. Right. So it, it, it is, it depends how you see it, remember that. Is in life and in the business, you know, you not expected um, spend little and get a big profit. That's not going to work. Not going to work. Um, you so get what you pay. Remember, you get what you paid. I understand people. Sometimes you need to when you start this game, you need to just um, everyone want to just try corners. But in this game, it's no. Don't try like a. Uh, try to con us. We'll not get you nowhere. And uh, Don Diego, what's next in the business? What what are uh, wh where is uh, the next projects that you're working on? If you can give us a sneak peek. But I can say it's not about projects. It's about you know have the passion. See what is your passion? What is the yeah project passion and this? But I will say to myself, I thinking is a passion. What is the next thing? Um, now we can see now we have these abelas. Now you can see that we have people calling them fluffies now. What is the next? The next it is mm, I, I will reckon it will be the huskies. When you say husky is you talking about the breed or is it a color that you It's the color of the husky. So it's a it's a color that you that you're gonna be introducing into the Frenchie. No no that's the game. You say you introduce them into uh -huh. the Frenchie. This, you know, that is not the same like the dandy with the males, with the, the, that thing. No, this is a different DNA. Uh -huh. As I say to you, when the, when the chocolate appears a long time ago, I say we're talking about the chocolate in the blues, there was a mutation came from nowhere, boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no introduced mutation came the blue and the chocolate. Mm -hmm. That's when you see a chocolate of blue in that time when there was the color, it was already perfect. It was already perfect. Then the bla black and tan was not perfect because it was introduced. The Isabella was not perfect because it introduced. So you can, if you are a breed and you have a good eyes and good sense, you will understand this. Husky was a mutation. Now as a breeder, if you follow the mutation, you will understand. 
and only you can say go just google husky colors and when you see a husky just make you something oh my god put the face in the frenchie you must think you're mad and crazy because i tried you know just to try to just telling you how i see just go to google put husky colors then look and put in your head put the, the frenchie in that colors but remember the husky have a hair gene heritage heritage because that's what is like a puffy like a um, you know like a teddy bear you know um, it's now two people calling two things here we call it fluffies and hairy fluffy here you know must see this don't say um, uh, again the fluffy will need to be improved but now what the fluff is at the moment with a few hairs here few hairs there few hairs in the legs few hairs in the back and hairy thing sometimes some of them look cute every puppy fluffy when the bone they will look cute when they grow there's different story different story that's why it's not many fluffies all to look nice every puppy fluffy will look good you know remember she said we compare the sabellas or the paypal or paypal or the brother and piggy bank it is they will not change they will be better because the colors are light no, we try, won't try to advertise my dogs or try to say, yeah, just no, 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 that's guys, this is, it's up to you. If you love Fluffy, if you love uh, different, just you follow this. But, you know, it's a lot to work with the Fluffies. I'm no, I'm working in the Huskies. The Husky going to be a puffy, hairy puffy. So it's going to be uh, more of a general. It's the, the same, this I say, Husky, French, puffy. Right. You know when you see a puffy dog, um, that is now example of when you look at Pomeranian with the with the that thing that that's what I call a a, a hairy one. One day possible. I don't so I don't think so. That will be in the Frenchies, like a like a puffy French it will not happen because it's one line. The line is a fluffy, curly this and that. There never be a puffy. Pa puffy. We're talking about. Like a pomeranian you look with this puffy thing, look like a we never. But it's of, of course many breeders will work and maybe it's a it is a DNA and follow that DNA we will have the puffy thing. Only I can say my ones are puffy because I follow the the gene of the husky. That's all I can say. And and without remember this, guys and breeders where they are it is I don't want just to talk bad about uh, the fluffy gene believe in you in, in, in your work do what you want to do you know everyone and again you know it's all about what you want to produce one is your achievement in the end I know I can see what what I want to produce um, so that's exciting to know uh, we look forward to seeing that in the near future um, I want to ask you a question. A lot of people have a general perspective of you being uh, looked upon as a arrogant person. Uh, some people even call you a scammer and stuff like that. Uh, why? Why do you think people have that perception okay. of you? Okay. Well, let's go from this one. When you say to me, many people call me a scammer. I will call. I will. I will just if I am a scammer. Why all the world's wo the world famous dogs came from me? We was going for the list. The biggest scammer scam all of them. Biggest scammer, bloody damn well scamming them. It is all is about the business. You know, as I said to you, we need to give. Um, you know, when a breeder is a good breeder, you need to tell it's a good breeder. That's somebody if you don't like, you like. Just. Just, I don't like the guy, but yeah, he's a good breeder. But come on, guys, you know, just in this, you know, and the good thing is, you know, this this kind of commenting, it is healthy, healthy in my, for me. Because without these bad commenting, there will be no be the sign up with what it is now. Without these bad commenting, there will not be a six beds. Without these bad comments, not be the sign up beds. This way they make you strong. 
you know. That's why you want to just not prove them, because them are not worth it. Because they are only just haters, key warriors. Instead to spend the time talking about you, why to not change it into something good? Right. If I start to think, I see many, if I tell the stories, bring us, when someone puts something bad about them, I see them dancing, I call them dancing. <laughs> They're talking bad about me, you know. <laughs> they, they, come on, just guys, just relax, say okay, bad news, uh, you know, I will say bad publicity is good publicity. Right, I totally agree. Sometimes people that say to me, oh, I call, they get worried, oh my name is uh, using, oh I don't want to, I want to clear my name. Guys, you to you, you know, of course, as you say to me, we have them, you need to just, uh, two sides of the story. But when you're doing, everyone doing all the time, all the time, why you need to have, why I need to just justify all the time? They justify, you know, I don't need to justify. The justify is there when you send me the list and you give me the list and you say to me, who's this, this, this dog, this dog, this dog, dog. That's my justification. My lines, it's not just to explain to, but that's why they try to achieve me to get angry and to reply to them. But if only if you are a breed and you understand who I am, that's it. Okay, and what, what, what do you want to say to those people that uh, seem to dedicate time to, uh, to talk negatively about you uh, and uh, what you call so, so much the haters? So I would say to them, just relax, calm down. No, you worry. Remember, I am the sign I was. But you will see when I say this, you say this guy is arrogant. No, just it is what it is. You cannot stop them. You can't, you know. And when you reply to them, you're giving, you, I give you my energy. I, the energy I can just spend just thinking about another clinic, thinking about the next color, thinking about selling the dog to that person, thinking about me talking to that person who need my advice. Why are these guys? It's normal. Only can say this. Okay, show me the guy who talk bad about me is better than me. Show me this guy or this breeder who is talking about me sold dogs or produce better puppies than me. Nothing. So, you know, in, uh, sometimes come from here and go there. That's it. That, that's the need to know. Of course, as you say to me, just two sides of the story. Yes, it's two, two, but don't just. I don't want to waste. This is my son who I need to teach him, who I need to show him, who I need to tell him. This is my my family, my life. What I contribute for the dog business is a lot. What I done for the dog business is a lot. If you've been in this game for long enough, you will understand this. If you just came now to the dog game, of course. How can you? You need experience. Just, just man, just in this, in this, in this game, it is a horrible game. But you need to be strong. That's it. Just, just, and plus, I teach my son one thing. We have um, the good thing. It is just how to end these all the haters. It is what we need to end the whole haters. Block, block them. I block it. I have 9,000 plus. I have more friends. You know, I have more block the friends. And that's the best thing. Sometimes the, sometimes the haters will say, you know, one, only one thing I'm telling you. That is sad. That is, my, op, my son opened now in Instagram. He came on three months ago to become, decide to become proper now. Not because I tell him. Because he want to be. That's the good thing. He want to be. That's good. Is, he's a young boy enjoy doing things, the teenager things, and he said that, now I want to become a breeder. Good, I will support him. You know what they say to me, I have f five commenting, so no, four. You know, I open his Instagram, the sign up pets, because Diego cannot sell more dogs. God, help me. You see, that is the, the thing, oh, he's helping a, 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 his son because he cannot sell it. Guys, I can sell the dogs like this. I have queuing people, that's why you call me arrogant, it's because I really have a queuing of hundred people. So, you know, that's the way why will they talk. This guy's only can say to them is, come on guys, just 
this is ridiculous and she's doing your own just be, try to use that energy to do something make money for your family don't do it for yourself don't do it for for you because you're not worth it because if you are hating you know do it, don't talk, think about it think about your family think about your kids think about if you don't you know have a family she's thinking about your mom just do it for them because in this game is so beautiful my excitement what i have for the dogs the <laughs> you know this is for me it's like a the adrenaline the excitement is this, this is my blood this is this the, the the dog business the dog the french game is my if you know who i am if you are my customer if you are one of them you know who i am anyway so only this is my loyal people my family that's what i need to explain to and give the whole my life the time for them all right so speaking uh, about your son uh, let's introduce him to the world uh his name is archie uh, his brand name is uh, designer pets uh talk to me about your brand name why designer pets um designer pets or designer obviously from my dad and pets a lot of people don't know about why my name is pets but when i when, when i was in school i used to be called pedro and then from there i just got the name they, 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 what people were calling now. pets that's what's calling pets you know um and then i didn't understood why pets i said well, what's that i said that like, because of pedro because he's a he is a um he's a latin boy looking with long hairs and you know pedro they call him pedro you know so yes so they make sense i say to son uh, to my son i say look you need to have the name he want to just be the sign of boots i say no you need to have your own brand name he could have put a sample, say, a um, different kennel name, but he wanted to still keep it with the signage, but put other pets because of his nickname, Pedro. As a joke, you know? So it's good to match each other, the signer pets. Um, and uh, how old are you? I'm 17. 17 years young, man. You're coming into this game um, as, a, as a young uh entrepreneur uh with uh, the guidance of one of the most important people in the breeding world how does it feel to be in that position at the moment i feel blessed i always say it to everyone that asks me i always say i always feel blessed to have the best teacher my dad and have everything around me to be successful and do everything i want to do the best teacher or the tough teacher both tough because both. you know sometimes archie as every kid, they think they know everything. So I need to be tough with him. There's, there's your normal dad. <laughs> 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 All right, so when did you decide to jump into the dog business? My understanding is this is not something, right? Is this something that you, is he, is he telling the truth? Did he make you do dogs or is this something that you wanted to do? I wasn't, I wasn't focused at all with dogs. But I, I've always been around it since I was a kid, but it's only since three months ago I focused and I thought I could actually do this, like I could actually do this as a living and do this for my rest of my life really. So that's what opened my eyes. So that's what I say again, I didn't he come along. You know, you know, as a parent you want to be doctor, you want to be a lawyer, you want to be okay in, if you're not good in uh, you, you you want to be a plumber, you want to be an engineer. He came and said oh, that that I want to be uh, a breeder so i said to him listen if you want to be a breeder you're going to do properly just don't mess it up so he come to me for my support and said i will give you and i will give you but for just you know the mistakes i commit you know in this in the dog business in the dog game i don't want him to commit so i want to just try to be perfect sometimes you know pictures um talking with people of course he cannot be like me talking or you know uh, he need to be different he need to be customer service he need to be brand his name and don't rush he have the whole life you know hit and only what i say to you don't do the mistake adam just just do better than me and that's what he need to do better than me that's why i need to put in the in his head he need to be better than my dad i want to be better than my dad so what does uh what 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 does your day to day look like? What what do you do in the business now that you just uh, recently three how long ago three, three months three ago, months yeah, ago? Three months ago. How, how, what do you do on a day to day basis uh, in the business? 
Uh, on the day-to-day -day business, it can be from anywhere from working here, cleaning the dogs out, my dogs out, or anywhere from cleaning the dogs out at the clinic, helping the nurses, the vets with consultations, bringing the customers in, bringing their dogs out, helping out in theatre with surgeries, many things I do, many things, running my dog page, taking pictures, helping with my dad, running about the farm, doing anything I can, I'm always working, always with animals bro, always. So this is, this is incredible man, 17 years old, walking into this type of life, uh, in, in, into this business and the fact that you're not only uh, dealing with, with uh, taking care of puppies or breeding, but you're also learning the like the the clinical aspect of yeah, it, the vet sure. aspect of it. So you're 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 gonna be a professional in breeding. You're obviously gonna get the experience from your dad, but now you're also gonna have uh, knowledge of the actual science behind the dogs mm -hmm. uh, because of working on, on a day to day basis with the vets. That's incredible, man. I see a, a very bright future ahead for you. Thank you. Um, so um, let me ask you something. How do you compare your style of business to your dad's style of business? Um, I would say we have a little bit of a different way of doing business. Like my, I'm more approachable compared to my dad is. Like he's too busy to be texting people. We only he's on the phone for two minutes, and if you're not, if you haven't made a deal by then. You're probably not going to get hold of him but with me i'll talk i'll explain i can I have more time on my hands to talk and, and convince people how do you compare your your style of doing business with your with, with your dad's style of doing business um i would say we do different ways by he's i'm more approachable and my dad's more busy in his head and selling big dogs and expensive dogs and always busy. Um, I've got my page up with 4,000 followers and I'm not as busy as him, so I can communicate more and yeah. So people can expect to uh, have an easier communication with you, maybe as a bridge in the moment to get to your dad because uh, he's always, you know, doing stuff uh, and, and uh, busy, a busy person doing a hundred million things. That's sure. understandable. Uh, so. The, you bring to the table, you know, a, a easier uh, uh, entry point into the signer uh, goals. To join the family, 100%. Right. Archie, I want to ask you, wh where do you see yourself five years from now? Um, and more so, what what uh, idea do you have to bring this business to another level? Um, straight from the start, uh, when I started this three months ago, I always wanted to bring my dogs into music videos and I wanted celebrities to, or I wanted to sell to celebrities or even them in the music video or just involved with the celebrities that's what I wanted to do so you want to market the dogs into the into the hot like say uh, quote unquote Hollywood like you want exactly, yeah, you yeah. want them to appear in movies and yeah. videos with artists I think that's very interesting and I look forward to uh, See, watching you develop yourself, and I look forward to interviewing you in a couple of years and actually see what we just talked about in the making. Hopefully, it will be a different story. Definitely, will be but a different why story. Why don't, don't you don't think that be even better to make a series of the sign of pets? We're not there yet. We're not there yet. No, that be oh, <laughs> because we're looking about your progress. You know, look in three months what you achieve or what you done. I think you have a potential to just you have. I'll like say a series of you that be even unbelievable. Not only just say or just ideas are there, but you have my full support. My full support and Netflix. you know Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> Netflix. Shout out to Netflix, uh <laughs> you can you know where to call to uh, get the, the So story. but that is it. he has my support and he knows he have everything what he needed to have. So there's only idea, he's there, you know, he's there right. you have my support. Yeah, I want to show you in the last one one more talk. Okay. Piggy. Let's want to bring. Let's bring him in. A piggy, piggy bank. No, a, a piggy, piggy bank. This is the piggy bank. Look. So he's a brother from uh, PayPal, uh, right? Yeah. Bring PayPal for me, and I'll show you just so you understand. Just PayPal. I want bring PayPal here. Yeah, PayPal. I want to show you what's the difference. 
what's the difference between these two boys? You know, I want to show you. Here, then. Yeah. Uh, okay. What is uh, PayPal? PayPal it is the most, you know, <coughs> DNA with his uh, DNA is Isabella Mel New Shade Intensity. He is Isabella in time. <laughs> You know, no male intensity, copy intensity, new shit. He ha both of them, he's a same DNA, one is male, one is no male. So, DNA speaking, they are the, the best DNA in, in the whole world. And look in them. <laughs> and and uh, talking about the intensity gene, can you explain uh, to me what that what that is? The, uh, the intensity is, well, look, many, many people call it new, new shades. Look these colors of them. Look the colors. What they have is not. You need to see the colors. I will put up pictures tonight so you can understand. That is, look, that is the colors of them. That this as a, as a breeder, yeah. You will when you want to have one of them. I'm thinking that's it. I have my gloves. I achieve everything. Finish. This is what I want to achieve. End of. But what, what does the intensity gene do? It's making lighter. It's okay. making more light the colors, you know? And it also, I understand, it also enhances the color a little Enhances, bit. For, for, for sure. You can see, look, you can see, it's, again, it's difficult to understand the color, but you can see it's more lighter, you know? Yeah, intensity, the two cocoas, the Isabella, the cream, what they make this dog so rare and so unique. And to have two, it is unbelievable. Definitely, and definitely. This uh, one for sure is all, but because I could, I couldn't refuse. I couldn't refuse uh, the offer and I say, okay, let's go. Plus, you know, the good thing we were saying, we were saying, why? You don't, can you hold for me, darling? This one because he's um, uh, piggy bank. He's getting hot and he. Yeah, I'll check them. As you must say to, sorry, because it's getting hot. That's why I'm doing this. Uh, you must say why. Why are you done, Pigman? Why you so no sorry, PayPal, why are you done this? First of all, it's because you know they offer me good good money, money talks, as everything is in business, you know, and and plus thing it is I give but I give, I sold him with seventeen, one seven stat tax. So again, you know, I going to, I can use it in my girls or Selling that 17 stats to the public, Definitely. even in top of that, I have a good so for the, the I think he's the record in my business, or I, I think the most records in the history in the French is him. So, yeah, um, he will um, sold him, but he's not losing his lines because I have 17 in the contract, I have 17 stats back well i think uh we've been recording for well over two hours here let's uh wrap this up uh don diego thank you very much no for uh receiving me here in the designer bulls headquarters uh designer bulls uh designer pets uh archie everybody remember this face remember the name it's gonna be the next uh big uh big guy in the dog business uh, we're excited to see the way that he develops the business from here on. Uh, and uh, thank you guys for watching us. Uh, we're signing off uh, from here from the United Kingdom. Uh, in the uh, Designer Bulls headquarters, this is Legit Breeders. Uh, you guys have a great one. Don't forget to follow Diego. Where can they follow you at? Listen, I am, everyone knows this Designer Bulls in Instagram. Most, I, don't, I don't go to Facebook. Facebook is only the old readers who talk too much and they gossip us. Facebook is for the old school. So which Instagram is where they can follow it's, you? The Designable Essex. Designable Essex. Where do people contact you? Designables underscore pets. Perfect. Instagram. And as always, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because there's going to be a lot more content coming very soon. You guys are going to get impressed uh, every episode that we do. We're going to keep uh, going forward. Uh, and uh, thank you very much for your time. God bless you guys. See you later. Haters going to hate.